welcome to eternal is education in this session you are going to learn chapter 11 database concepts content of this video is what is data what is information what is database and what is dbms data data are raw facts stored in a computer that means data are content what are the content like a character a text a word or a number so a data can be any of a character any uh, any of a word any of a text or a number so the data is unprocessed data which contains any character text word or number has no meaning what they want to tell here means see the example given there is a number and there is a word and there is another word if i am reading like this guess 6 lakh 6 dpi campus sert chennai college road there is no meaning in this because there are data there is a word there is a number but it is not in a organized manner so data are raw facts means raw facts means they are collections of number character text or a word but there won't be any meaning then when will get the meaning of the data so the information is formatted data so after collecting the raw data raw facts they are organized or formatted in a complete manner then that is said to be the information information is formatted data which allows to be utilized in a significant way when the data is processed organized and formatted it gives a meaningful information the same data now it is organized in an order look here s c e r t college road dpi campus chennai 6 lakhs of 6 so after organizing the raw facts we are getting a meaning then it is said to be the information is it clear children data are raw facts there won't be any meaning but information is a formatted data or the organized data which is going to give a meaning next one is what is database database is a repository collection of related data organized in a way that data can be easily accessed managed and updated as we learned that data is a raw facts information is a um, formatted data okay is it clear now so after collecting the data and forming as a information it should be stored that is the important thing for example think or take your attendance register it's a physical notebook that means it's a hard copy it's a notebook in that notebook your name your date of birth your roll number are written and each day the attendance is recorded am i right then it is said to be a attendance register this is also database because whenever we open the attendance we can learn that this student is present today absent today or on leave or off half day leave anything else can be taken from the data so database is a collection of data where the data are organized and it can be easily accessed managed and updated so this is important so instead of many things are recorded in the notebooks am i right but as it is a digitalized world there is a requirement to store the data in a digitized form inside the computer so there comes the database concept of this lesson so we can store the same data that means the attendance register in a format of a excel sheet or we can type the format in the word after that we can move to the ms access it's a kind of database because in the access the data is are arranged in the format of table so up to this level database is a collection of data am i right now we are going to learn about the database 
that is in a digitized form how the data are going to be stored in the computer and how it is easily accessed managed and updated so clear with the concept next database can be a software or hardware based with the one sole purpose of storing data this that's what i explained that means if it is a hardware based means all our registers which are maintained in a file or notebook everything can be treated as a database which is on hardware based software based means it must be maintained in a computer okay then what does dbms database management system dbms is a software that allows us to create define manipulate database so database dbms is a software first point next it is used to to create used to to create define and manipulate allowing users to store process and analyze data easily so this is the concept here the database stored in a computer is going to be maintained and processed by a software that software is said to be dbms the management system which manages the data is said to be database management system the dbms provides us with an interface or a tool to perform various operations to create a database storing of data and for updating data that means the database is a software first of all then it is going to create and define manipulate that means all in all everything is going to be done by the dbms software what it is going to do means even a student report even a employee report in a company or in a factory these things are going to be maintained in a format of table and there are some procedures to maintain that why they are doing like this means because of this the ma management or the maintenance of data is very much easy to retrieve to edit and to store so in this chapter you are going to learn how to create a database how to store the data inside the database what are the terms we are going to use in this and what is the procedure so it will be a, a useful content and it is going to be uh, used in your higher studies also so learn this chapter thoroughly then you can have an idea even you can create your own project so that's all for this session you have learned what is data what is information what is database and what is database management system i suggest that's all given in your book and that's all for the session also thank you have a good day